everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and I had a really cool topic come to me to do. Uh, it was funny because I was talking to one of my friends about the, the land of Tartary or Great Tartaria. If I'm saying it correctly, well then I was looking at the blog and there was a question out there also centered around this. So synchronicity is telling me now is the time to look at this topic. So moving forward, the question is, hi Lim. Could you please do a reading on the subject of great tar Tartia, um, or it's sometimes called Tartary, that's come up in true history community recently? It appears there was an empire as large as Rome, which most of us have never heard of before. Who were they, and why is the subject surfacing now? Is it true history or disinfo, and was there a mud flood within the last few hundred years? Thanks. And I put a link to a Wikipedia talking a little bit about Tartary. I also put a YouTube video up, up there, um, which also goes into more detail. In case you're curious, I did watch a few minutes of it just to tune into the area, try to uh, get a brief um, maybe connection to what this is all about before I went into the reading itself. And so I did that and then opened myself up to see what things would come through. And when I did that, I got that the Tartarian Empire, it was huge. Um, it's not a myth, but it's being diminished as being um, great in history due to the type of land that it was. And I saw a lot of references to Atlantis. Now, not necessarily in the form of like free energy and crystals and that kind of thing, but it was very, uh, it was like the land of plenty and people knew how to work off the land. They, they focused on respecting the land and they had a good relationship with Mother Gaia. They had this circular reference where if they took from the land they gave back to the land they knew how to work herbs they healed it was a very spiritual uh, location and there were a lot of resources there on that land and the overall philosophy of the land was very spiritual in nature uh, like i had mentioned they worked on healing they adopted many natural things into their lives they were very grounded and very embracing of their environment mother gaia I would describe them as somewhat pagan, but they had a very spiritual undertone to them. Um, at least that was the way that it came through to me. They, It wasn't exactly the word pagan, but it had this very earthy vibe, um, but a very spiritual undertone with it as well. So if you could couple the two of those, that's how I would describe the people of this area and the land itself. And even though their lands consumed a lot of what is currently Russia, I get the history books completely discount what this is. And part of it is, okay, so you have this land and outside countries are jealous of it because it is the land of plenty and people are happy, they're healthy, they're working the land, they work together, they have great teamwork, all these kind of things. So sometimes people on the outside, when they see that, they want to come and take it. And I get that that's exactly what happened. You have this great, beautiful empire. So people want to come in and they want to take what is there and what is established. So I do get that, you know, Russia or those areas outlying the, the Tartarian empire, they went in and they conquered them and basically wanted to steal what they had. But what they didn't expect is the people that work on the land, the people that live there, they wouldn't give up their secrets. They were very loyal to what they had and they weren't going to just give it to someone else who could use it for ill will or use it to, you know, maybe enslave people or do cruelty. They, they were not going to allow that to happen. So they stayed very true to who they were. And so, you know, this land gets conquered and they basically wipe it out of history like it didn't even happen because of this rivalry, jealousy thing, and the winners ultimately do write the history books, and that's what happened, and that's how a lot of that truth and that knowledge got lost, and I get that when this battle happened, a lot of the people that lived in Tartary, they fled to China and the southeastern areas of Asia. A few remain, but most of them tried to escape. But like I said, the ones that did stay, they were very loyal and they didn't give up their knowledge and they didn't give up um, the secrets to what made the Tartarian Empire so great because they did not want to see something negative happen from something that was so beautiful. 
I do get there was a mud flood and the land was taken over by buildings, um, sacred locations, and even people that were loyal and stood guard. And it, it feels like it was largely a component of volcanic ash. So I'm not sure what volcanoes were around there or how all of that played out, but it's almost like you have this volcanic eruption and then when rain mixed with it, it just created some kind of mud. Um, so if they were to test that area, I get that they would discover that it's really a, some kind of volcanic ash more so than mud, if that's something that you can even test. And I do get that this happened within the past few hundred years. Um, and the real injustice that I saw about this whole thing was the alteration of history, not giving truth to this land and the real motives for why it was taken over and why people came in and, and, and basically tried to gobble up this empire and claim it for themselves. And that's all I have for this reading. It was a really cool topic. Um, you know, please feel free to leave a comment, like me, share me, all those things. They help me out a lot. And again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at PsychicFocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.